Well, I suppose, firstly, I was very passionate about the area and I would have known that, you know, things were not perhaps as they should be for people living with an intellectual disability. And I wanted to try to have some impact and to change that. And I think one of the biggest things that influenced my success, I knew I needed evidence in order to do this, and I was very lucky to be awarded a training fellowship from the Health Research Board uh, that enabled me to do my PhD and to gain the, the skills to conduct really good science and, and understand how to create evidence. So I think without that training fellowship, I would, it would have been a challenge to create the type of evidence I was looking for. But I was extremely passionate about the area. I would like people with an intellectual disability to be able to aspire to living well and happy in the, as they grow older and reach old age. I would like the gains that we have seen in longevity for the rest of the population to also be something that we see for people with an intellectual disability. Secondly, I would like to create a career of future leaders so that if Mary McCarran isn't around in the future, that the, the, the work that has been done today, that I won't be missed, that this legacy and this work will continue. There is challenges with, with uh, the health sector, and, um, but we have good evidence base now to understand uh, what some of the issues are. Um, we, now that we have got this knowledge, I really hope that we can do better. So I want people uh, not to really be so fixated on the problems, but to really have to look at solutions, small things that we can do now that will really improve the lives of people with an intellectual disability. So it's not just about adding uh, years uh, to life, but it is really about adding life to years.